Hey everybody, Adam here with Hometown Acres. Welcome back. So on the agenda for today is we're gonna be exchanging some grappling services for some free firewood. As many of you guys know who follow the channel, uh, we get a lot of tree service wood for free that we then turn around, process, and then sell as campfire bundle wood. Uh, but what we're gonna do today is I've got my tree service friend coming to pick me up with his dump trailer. We're gonna take the tractor and the brute force grapple and he's gonna take the trees down I'm gonna clean them up for him and then he's gonna bring the logs back here for me to use for firewood. Now you might be asking yourself, why would a tree service need me? Well, this is a very small tree service company. He's kind of a one man band. He's got a couple of chainsaws, a dump trailer and some logging ropes and he climbs most of his trees. A lot of the other tree services out there have hundreds of thousands of dollars in equipment. He is very minimalistic. He's a lot like Ohio Woodburner in that respect in that the less equipment he has, the less overhead, the better he can price his services. So the job that we're going to do today, a lot of tree services would bring in a crane. There's a house really close by, there's uh, telephone wires really close by, uh, but Jake is very skilled at what he does and making the best of what he has. And you will see that in this video. I was pretty skeptical when I first saw the job, but after seeing what he did here, it's incredible that he doesn't need bigger equipment. He knows exactly where the tree is going to drop. It's, it's fascinating to watch him work. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the video and are as impressed with his skills as I am. So here's these two trees we're taking down. Both of them are dead ash trees. You can see this one wise up in between two telephone wires. So he's going to have a tricky time with that one. And then this one here is your typical yard tree. It's got branches going out every which way. So. There's a wire going in that way to the house. He's gonna have to be careful with that. I think he's gonna try to drop it that way, but he's gonna climb and limb this one out as much as he can.
yeah, that is what an afternoon with my one-man band tree service looks like. We've worked out a pretty good partnership. I think I've been on five or six jobs with him so far now where we've taken the tractor out, loaded up the dump trailer and brought the wood back. But it works out well for both of us. It's a win-win. He gets to charge more for taking the trees down. He gets paid for his job quicker because he can clean up faster. And then I get all the wood for free that I can then run my firewood business off of. So it works out great for everybody. Now typically tree service logs are not the highest quality. It's not like I'm getting log trucks of firewood poles that are all straight, no knots in them at all. But I do heat with wood myself. So I can use some of the wood to heat with. Some of the good stuff I can pull aside and kind of sort through and sift out and decide what I want to sell and what I want to keep for myself for heat. But I don't know any other tree service companies that would have been able to do that job for the price that my guy did it for. They would have had to have brought in a lot of cranes. Like I said, you had those telephone wires there. The house was right there. I wouldn't have touched that job for probably three times what they paid my guy to do it for. Unless I had really good insurance and in which case the insurance company would probably drop me after three jobs because I'd drop a tree on a house. That's why the only trees I take down are back here in the woods. The only thing I have to worry about damaging are myself or other trees. But yeah, Jake is very skilled when it comes to running a chainsaw. He's very knowledgeable about trees and how they fall. Uh, he's a great guy to work with. And another part of my compensation is just getting to follow him around and watch him. You know, I'm sitting on the tractor and learning while he's out there cutting the trees down. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and thanks for watching.